Hey guys, good morning. Today is day number one. It's 10 a.m. over here and I think I'm around in 14 hours into the fast. So far so good. I have absolutely no problem, no hunger at all. So yeah, the plan for today is now I'm gonna go back to my room. I'm gonna do my morning routine, which is something that, you know, a routine of some habits that help me to be more productive, more healthy, both for my physical, uh, you know, part of my life, body, mind and soul as well so it's gonna be great then i'm gonna do some coaching for the facebook group then i'm gonna go back to the office to do some work for my phd and then i'm gonna have to go to a seminar of jordan peterson which is gonna be epic and i'm super you know excited to go and watch it all right so that's it so far so far so good i'm excited let's go Okay, so I'm on my way to the office right now and yeah so far so good like 16 hours into the fast all good now what is happening in our bodies when we fast all right this is something I want to touch really quickly because I think it's important so that you can know what exactly happens and since I'm an engineer you know I want to know what's going on in my body right so the first thing is that when we eat all right we have some glycogen which is stored into our bodies and basically this glycogen through a process which is called glycolysis turns into energy but when we don't have any more you know food as you know you do when you are in a period of fasting then our body what it does is it create it takes the the lipids the fat that it's stored in our body and through a process which is called lipolysis creates more energy for us so that's exactly uh, what is my first goal right i want to reach ketogenesis all right which means that the lipids stored in our bodies turns into ketone bodies and these ketone bodies then uh, are very useful because they are kind of like they have a negative effect into cancer cells all right because cancer cells prefer to eat prefer to eat very scientific prefer to eat anyway um, glycogen and not ketone bodies now after the ketosis which is the you know the condition that our body is when we reach when we have the ketone bodies in us after that what happens is a process which is called autophagy all right and autophagy basically is exactly as the word says two greek words gg uh, eating your own self all right our cells eat the bad cells the dead cells the harmless the the harmed cells and all these things and this helps to cleanse the body, reboot the metabolism and give so many benefits. So my goal is exactly that. I want to reach ketosis, then reach autophagy and reap all the benefits from that. So yeah, that's pretty awesome, I think. And yeah, let's see how it goes. I'm 22 hours into the fast. And I'm on my way to watch Jordan Peterson's speech in Manchester. I'm super pumped because, you know, he's a university professor, he's a psychologist, he has great insights about life, about, you know, the self-development as well. So I'm super pumped and I'm super excited to see what he has to talk about, all right? I'll take you with me. I'm still alive and <laughs> yeah, all good. Going forward in the full sense means it means full acceptance of the entire catastrophe of existence and then forthright attempt to do everything you can to rectify it. So, so I just came back home after Jotan Peterson's speech. It was mind blowing, really good information, really good insights, and he shared some amazing lessons for life basically and I really loved it and I kept like a ton of notes over here and basically I will share with you only two things that you know really strike my attention and the rest of them will be on another video on YouTube so basically after I finish my fast I will upload the video regarding what I learned from his seminar but number one he said that good books will elevate your intellectual ability to join better friendships and to basically elevate your status all right because you get concentrated all the knowledge from other people, from successful people, from entrepreneurs, from you learn from the mistakes of other people as well. So that's amazing and that's exactly why I recommend to everyone and anyone to read books 
That's exactly why I have on my morning and evening routine, reading a little bit of a book or listening to an audio book. This is amazing. And you know, we always need to learn more things and what they say, you know, that you are always going to be a student. That's exactly the thing, all right? We can always learn something more, something new, something different, change our way of thinking, change our perspective. These are things that matters, guys, all right? These are very important. And the last thing that basically that's how he kind of finished his speech, he said that you need to pursue something that is meaningful, all right? You need to grow up responsible and wise, and that's what we should encourage people uh, to do. That's what we should encourage young boys, young women to do in order, you know, to elevate their status as well. So, phew, amazing, right? So yeah, anyway, uh, I had a lot of fun. Right now I'm in the 26th hour of my fasting. I won't say lies to you guys, I am hungry, all right? Not in, you know, intolerable hungry, but I could use, you know, a burger or two. But yeah, so far so good. I haven't broke my fast. Um, I'm only, you know, I have only drunk um, water, one cup of coffee and one cup of tea so far. And yeah, like it is still manageable. I'm still alive, I still breathe, I can still think. But yeah, that's the thing that, you know, so far what I've noticed happening myself is that I'm very focused, right? When Jordan Peterson was speaking, I was boom, laser focused there. While I was walking back home, I was also very mindful. And I think that's something else that happens. And that's something I haven't discussed yet. Basically, when you fast and when you get into ketosis, you release some hormones which are called BDNF hormones. And these are some hormones of your brain which make you more focused and gives you a higher, higher level of mental clarity. So that's another reason why I'm doing the fast. You know, I want to elevate my BDNFs and be more focused, more productive as well. So yeah, I'm gonna go back to my room, do some more work, focus on my stuff a little bit more, and I'll get back to you to wrap up the day. And yeah. All right, guys, so time is 3 a.m. I did some really good work, really good hustle for my business. And now I think it's time to go to bed and fall asleep. I am 31 hours fasted now. I had, I think, one more craving, but other than that, I was pretty okay, so, yeah. Let's see what happens tomorrow when I wake up, and hopefully <laughs> more hours will be passed. But, yeah, I feel okay, and, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow I want to share with you some survival tips, all right, what to drink in order to make the fast easier, and I'm pretty excited as well. Make sure to check in tomorrow, therefore, and also subscribe, leave me a comment below, let me know what you think so far, and I'll see you tomorrow.